off the coast of Kwantung, where the Pearl River flows into the China Sea, is Hong Kong, a mountainous and verdant island known to the Chinese as Fragrant Lagoon. Since 1841, when it was ceded to Britain, this same island has been, commercially, one of her most important crown colonies. Its strategic location on the main highway of shipping in far eastern waters, its enormous and valuable coastal trade with fertile and populous South China, and its 10 square miles of deep natural harbor in which the largest vessels can lie, have made beautiful Hong Kong one of the principal shipping centers of the world. The colony today includes the new territories and the city of Kowloon on the mainland, the starting point of the Kowloon Canton Railway and the terminus of Imperial Airliners from England and Trans-Pacific Clipper Plains from America. From the ferries which serve the island can be had a splendid vista of the city, built upon the sloping rocky sides of the celebrated peak. The city's name is Victoria, in honor of England's great queen, Hong Kong, the name of the island upon which it stands. Under tolerant and wise British rule, with willing oriental assistance, has grown a modern western city in an eastern setting, where more than a million contented Chinese dwell in harmony, merging their ancient civilization, culture, and manners with those of the 20,000 Europeans who guide or minister to them. Standing in solitary simplicity is the impressive cenotaph, memorial to Britain's World War dead. And nearby, the Chinese fallen or revered in similar dignity. Near the center of the city is the Supreme Court building, symbol of justice to all creeds and races. The imposing 17-story air-conditioned Hong Kong Shanghai Bank stands out in architectural beauty, even among the many other splendid buildings of which the city is justly proud. Arcaded sidewalks afford ample protection against rain or sun. The modern Chinese women dress in form-fitting garments of conventional design. Because Victoria is literally built upon the side of a hill, sedan chairs as a mode of transportation are used extensively, affording a comfortable and convenient means of reaching the various levels. Hong Kong, one of the few free ports in the world, with an always bountiful supply of cheap yet highly skilled labor, is to the shopper a paradise of bargain. Not only is the economy a lure, but there is a fascination in rambling through the crowded oriental streets.
natural glimpses of everyday life are caught until the camera, the evil eye, is noticed. The crowded tenements of the colorful Chinese quarters are not the only homes of the Orientals, for some live in costly and magnificent castle-like residences surrounded by all the luxuries of wealth. Others live in smaller villas and roomy flats around the famous Happy Valley racetrack, reputedly the most beautiful in the East. Imposing and modern are many of the hospitals of Hong Kong. Perhaps the most popular residential sites are those situated on the verdant slopes overlooking the city. Tier upon tier, the well-kept gardens and beautiful homes rise into the cooler atmosphere of the peak. To reach the various levels requires but a few minutes by the electric cable tram, or not many more in a motor car over well-paved roads. The peak cable tram travels to the top station, 1,300 feet above the sea, in seven minutes and inhabitants of the colony call this gliding climb a shortcut to fairyland. From the top station, a further ascent of another 500 feet by a sedan chair or a foot is rewarded by a superb marine panorama, seldom equaled and never surpassed. In the foreground is a beautiful natural harbor where the large liners and men of war look like toy ships in a child's bath. And in the distance, the hills of Kowloon and the mountains of China. Below, the great city of this proud crown colony is spread out map-like along the shores. In the opposite direction can be seen the hills and valleys, bays and inlets of the southern coast. On the south shore, protected from storms and winds, is Repulse Bay, the most popular bathing beach of Hong Kong. On the broad white sands are grass beach houses, and bathers lull in the late afternoon sun or swim in the safe, crystal clear waters of the bay. A modern touch is added by the Lido, a large pavilion containing bathhouses and recreation facilities. And on its terraces, Guests may dine and dance, or just enjoy a cooling drink while looking out upon tranquil scenes. Junks, scores of junks, picturesque traders of the China Seas from time immemorial, and perennial homes of countless thousands upon thousands of hardy water folk, whose livelihood and heritage is on the seas and rivers they serve. Every day, fleets of picturesque junks find shelter and safety in the friendly harbors of Hong Kong, Britain's pride of the East, and for nearly 100 years, the greatest trading center of and gateway to South China.